Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi everyone, uh, Patrick Donahoe here. Uh, I am the president and CEO of Paradigm Life. We are a financial advisory out of Salt Lake City, Utah. You can learn more about our company at www.paradigmlife.net. Uh, we love real estate. We don't like Wall Street. And so therefore, today I'm going to be talking about just some ideas when it comes to uh, rental property. This REI Classroom Real Estate Lesson is sponsored by FlipNerd Investor Coaching, your blueprint to investing success. And it's ideas that, uh, that I've done personally, and it's also some ideas that I've seen a lot of clients do. Because really, when you have a, a, a small amount of capital, the question becomes, well, do I save more and do another property? Uh, or can I put that money to work and essentially improve the property and increase uh, a return of an existing property? Okay, so let me give you some examples. So first off, the value add concept is really big with development and, const and, and big kind of syndicated deals where they'll go in, buy an underperforming property, and then you know they'll add uh, a new roof and they'll add washers and dryers and they'll add <clears throat> a parking lot or they'll add uh, a, a playground or something like that, which will uh, enable the you know the big commercial property guy to uh, increase the value uh, and obviously you know inc or increase rents, which would then increase value. So you can actually do that on smaller properties. The same the same type of idea. So what it is is basically you you take a you know a look at you know the, the existing property that you have and see ways in which you can improve it to be able to increase rents. Now, you, want, you don't want to just guess. You want to do some due diligence around this because I've seen a lot of people go in and put you know, a, new, uh, a new kitchen with nice countertops and, and, and appliances uh, and, and really didn't increase rent that much. You really want to look at the market that you're in. And so most real estate investors will have a good agent uh, that is it's local there and they can do uh, kind of rent comparables and you can kind of look at where you know what what type of rents are being requested and, and the higher ones what type of you know characteristics do the do the does the home have and really look at that now it could be landscaping it could be uh, appliances it could be remodeling a kitchen uh, it could be um, you know uh, back, a backyard kind of uh, a cleanup it could be putting a privacy fence and there's a, not, a lot of different ways in which you can improve a property to be able to increase rents uh, and so I mean those are some normal ones um, you know new carpet paint those are the you know the obvious obvious ones but I would always be looking and keeping a, you know a, a, a grasp or a pulse on the rental market in that specific neighborhood and always look at okay if there are bumps why are there bumps and what type of characteristics do those property ha the properties have that yours don't and then go about trying to you know put a thousand dollars here or twelve hundred dollars there or five thousand dollars there it really depends because if you could put in you know let's say it's a, a new kitchen and you know landscaping for for twenty thousand dollars okay it might seem like a lot but if you can increase your rents by you know three hundred bucks a month or five hundred dollars a month that's a really good return on that twenty thousand dollars and you can even start with you know ten thousand or five thousand uh, I remember a while a long time ago I, I put in a new uh, privacy fence uh, and landscape the backyard of a duplex uh, that I have an up and down duplex the upper had a has a backyard and I was able to increase rents by two hundred fifty dollars and it was a ten thousand dollar investment so you know it's it's really looking at ways in which you can deploy capital that you do have uh, not in not into necessarily a new property uh, but into an existing property that you have in order to increase rents uh, a few other things too and this is you know these are kind of out out of uh, you know they're you know, it may sound like weird ideas, uh, but I've seen this this recently, especially with kind of the you know the the demographic shifts that are that are taking place. Um, so you look at you know whether it's a lot that you have or whether it's a, a property that could fit more property on it, um, or even it could even be like a, a personal a personal residence where you have a lot of land. So there are these things called like there's some tiny home shows and kind of the modular home shows. You have these things uh, called granny pods now. So if you look at really assisted living and long term care expenses for the aging population, it's it's crazy uh, how much it is. Uh, just to, to provide that type of care. So there are these, you know, these companies that have come out and they're creating, you know, not just the granny pods, but they're creating other kind of little 500, 600 square foot uh, homes, really, that, that people are living in. So it's the minimalist uh, idea. But the granny pod, right, and not that I'm advocating granny pods, I've just seen, you know, I love looking at demographic shifts and how trends change and really looking at families being able to afford 
uh, care for their for their aging uh, parents or or uh, or family, right? The only solution is really well, put them into to a home. So granny pods is essentially it's like I think they're between seventy five thousand, hundred thousand dollars. But if you have a decent sized property, these are basically pre done. Uh, fully, you know, you can customize them. You can put like webcams in there. You can put like pill dispensers, and it's, it's basically built for an, an older individual. And you can even do that, you know, with with properties that may be somewhat flexible with zoning, uh, and you know, have a few of those on there as your own kind of little assisted living facility. Uh, but also these tiny homes, and really the modular idea, not mobile homes. Right, but the modular idea where you can basically have housing for a student or or someone else. That's again improving the value of an existing property. And then the last thing is uh, the this this idea of uh, whether it's VRBO or Airbnb, which has been been huge. Right, these are these are uh, ways in which you can be in like a California market or uh, a New York City market where you know on a normal long term rental the rent to values are are terrible. You never want to buy there for for that type of strategy. But what I've seen, I have I have some some uh, friends that are in Southern California and they basically bought a lot of property. And if it was long term rental, it wouldn't make any sense. But they've been using Airbnb and VRBO and they're getting 30, 40, 50 percent returns because these properties are always booked. Now, there is more maintenance. There's more cost associated with this. You need to know what you're doing there. But really looking at converting an existing property that may not be cash flowing that well into one of these like short term type of rentals using Airbnb, VRBO. And there's a lot of other companies that are up and coming, too. It does. It's, it's going to require some money, maybe ten grand, twenty-five thousand, fifty thousand, uh, to outfit the property with furniture and amenities and so forth that make it, you know, desirable for those that are on those apps and, and services to rent out your property. So anyway, that's a, a few ideas in which you can take an existing property and improve it, <clears throat> and improve it. And uh, you know, I appreciate you guys uh, being on today. Thanks for listening to me. Again, you can learn more about my company and the financial strategies that we use at www.paradigmlife.net. The Flip Nerd Investor Coaching Program is America's most robust real estate investor training and designed for your success. If you're ready to roll up your sleeves, ready to take personal responsibility for your own success, and ready to dive into a world-class instructional coaching program that provides you step-by-step instruction to help you achieve financial freedom, then you need to visit flipnerd.com coaching to learn more. Spaces are limited. Whether your goal is to simply get started or to take your business to the next level, you may be a fit for our life-changing program. Learn more today at flipnerd.com slash coaching. Please note the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of flipnerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of FlipNerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at flipnerd.com slash shows or simply search for Flipnerd in the iTunes store. 